human, what what exactly is the internet's obsession with pictures of cats edited to look like how media depicts aliens and saying Gleep Glorp? I don't know, I guess people just think it's funny or something. Do you know what Gleep Glorp translates to in English? No, what? It translates to, I don't believe in Martian rights. <laughs> What the f human Tim, what are you putting in the food? Cilantro. Uh, isn't that what Human Bob said was poison? It's not poison. Bob just has the bad cilantro gene. Bad cilantro gene? Yeah, some people have a gene that causes cilantro to taste like soap, but there's there's no other effects. What's the purpose of this gene? <sighs> Your guess is as good as mine. Evolution does some strange things. Chris, I was browsing YouTube and I came across these videos called Humans Are Space Orcs. Oh, those! Those are videos where we pretend to be visited by aliens who think the things we did were barbaric and illogical. But that's... Chris, are we in a Humans Are Space Orcs episode right now? Back it in, boys. He found out. Why are you humans like this? Am I on that Truman show you keep talking about? Human, what is monster energy? It's an energy drink, like the one I was drinking a while ago. Now, does it give you more strength than normal energy drinks? Or does it perhaps have any rage-inducing chemicals in it? And not really. It's a normal drink. I guess the amount of energy you get could maybe be considered more strength. I see. Why do you ask? Well, human Kyle was drinking one and punched a hole through the drywall. Again, Kyle? I swear to fucking God, if this happens one more time... Maybe it is rage-inducing. Human, why are you painting that small plastic statue? Oh, hey, I'm painting this minifigure for my Warhammer 40k campaign. You're painting a statue for war? <laughs> no, it's more like a game of imagination. With others, and there's a set of rules for everyone to follow to simulate what's somewhat realistic combat. And I assume there's some sort of lore for the game like every other game? Yeah, and who, boy, let me tell you about it. Two hours later. What the fuck is this madness? Warhammer 40k, a game about death, and lots of money spending. Emily, why do you constantly put that stuff on your armpits? Oh, it's so I can smell nice. Makes it so I don't sweat there and grow bacteria that makes me smell bad. Helps if I constantly shave my armpits down to nothing. You don't smell bad to me. Thanks, I work hard. Th there's got to be more to this. Um, sure, before we invented deodorant or even became civil, the body odor this stuff prevents was our natural pheromone. Helped us attract mates. I see. How do humans attract mates now, then? Largely the same way. We smell nice and look nice. Same stuff, different day. You humans are strange. Human, I have a question. Go ahead. How does your species know about the Mimikosia? Mimi, who's ya? These. It's rather remarkable how accurate you depicted them. Although they replicate genetic material instead of absorbing it. Why, 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 what? Yes, they're actually a common cat pet for that reason. Younglings adore having a playmate that can look like them. You also exaggerated their knowledge acquisition skills. They merely replicate the base instincts of those they impersonate. Oh, oh my god. Ow, 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 ow. Human, why are stones falling from the sky? Oh, that's hail. Sometimes during rain, small frozen pellets fall from the sky. Then why aren't you evacuating? Isn't this supposed to be one of your natural disasters? Oh no! It happens pretty rarely, but it isn't dangerous enough to be a disaster. Plus, it's pretty harmless if you just don't go outside. I truly don't understand you lot. What is this cartoon that you are watching? Oh, that's not a cartoon. We talked about this. This is anime. What's the difference? Okay, so anime is made in Japan and cartoons are from basically everywhere else. Pardon me wants to debunk that, but we're gonna let that slide for now. That's it? The only difference is cultural? Why don't you just call it Japanese cartoons then? Hey, we can be allowed some variety in words when your species has 48 different words for pillow. There are some very distinct differences, okay? At least I'm not slapping characters with memory glands the size of a planet on my pillows! Human, what, what are you watching? My favorite movie, John Wick. What's it about? It's about a retired assassin that comes out of retirement to take out the people who killed his dog. A dog? He's killing other humans over a lower life form? What did you just say? Hello, danger? Don't worry, everybody, he's fine. Human, what is this, um, Animal Crossing New Horizons? Oh, it's a game where you build up an island using mostly the resources around. Does it involve space travel or interstellar combat? Nope, just relaxing and developing a community on an island resort. I see. What, what's the catch? 
just just play the game. Three weeks later. Human, why are people obsessed with collecting virtual arachnids? All right, Tarantula Island. What 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 is this Toho project? Oh, it's a bullet hell game series based on our old beliefs. Why is it near impossible? Yeah, that small red dot. That's your hitbox. Still seems very hard. It is. Is this how you guys de-stressed? Is it? Human, I have a question about your number system. Yeah, go ahead. You say there are even numbers. Yep. And odd numbers. Mm-hmm. And despite them going hand in hand, you humans seem to be only worried about the odds and seem very possessive over them. What? I hear humans in casual and sometimes formal conversation refer to odds and our odds, and it makes me ask, is there a species called odds? Hello, human? Oh no, I think I broke this one. Human, remember how you told me about flat earthers? Yeah, yeah, what about them? Well, I recently learned of the phrase, pride comes before the fall. Could it be possible that these flat earthers could be getting close to their demise? Uh, it's possible, but it's sure it's taking a sweet time. I feel like the only way to get rid of them would be if... If what? Hmm. Why are you looking at me like that? Never you... You ate my salt lamp and sipped the wax melt up? Yes, it's edible. Why not eat? <laughs> because my vibes. <sighs> oh, I know that sound. Something's bothering you, isn't it, a human? It's just... I can't seem to lose weight no matter how hard I try. You seem healthy enough. I've seen your strenuous workout routine. You shouldn't have anything to worry about. I just don't like the way it makes me look. You know... Most species where I'm from are covered in a hard, strong exoskeleton. What? The hard outer shell protects their vital organs. And when I first saw you humans, I immediately noticed your soft exterior with no hard layer to act as a shield. Where are you going with this? The fat around your midsection cushions your organs, protecting them from harm. It's not much, but it's effective enough. It's meant to be there. It has a job. <laughs> Human, what are you playing? Kirby Planet Robobot. Oh, well, what's that about? Basically, a company called Haltman Works is planning on draining Popstar of its natural resources, so Kirby goes out to stop it and saves his world for the upteenth time. Ah, oh. you know, I think we have that planet name in our database. Would you like to see? Yes, heck yeah! Can we visit too? Yeah, the gravity and phenomena around that planet is still unexplained. Somehow a pink puffball is eight inches in the surface, then is around the height of a human six-year-old. Is that a no? What do you think? <laughs> human, I must ask you something. Oh, oh, okay, what's up? Why does your species know about the Mayarzakath? The, the, the what now? It this! The game you called Metroid, he's known as Craig, correct? E yep. I'm assuming that's the, uh, the, the, how did you say it? Meyarzakath is a very dangerous predator from the planet Kalzik. How dangerous are we talking here? Well, remember that Monster Hunter game you showed me the other day? Yeah. And that one elder dragon beast that could burrow beneath the sand? Den Moron? Yes, that one. Meyarzakath is th th like that, but a thousand times larger. And extremely aggressive! I need to go change. Human, I am looking back at some of your reports for your planet's newspapers, and it seems to describe these UFOs abducting bovines in some of your farms. Uh, that. Yeah, apparently some years back, that was a big conspiracy, along with stuff like weird lights in Texas and the Roswell thing I told you about a while back. Oh, so that explains why some of our drones arrived with those creatures aboard. The, the what? Well, those UFOs are actually our plant's versions of a um, mobile veterinarian. We use these to quickly observe and care livestock on our world. A few decades back, some had their navigation system malfunction and travel off-world. We never got a log until recently. I'm never taking you to Hollywood. Human, why does this Japanese animated television program have multiple- Nope, 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 
What is wrong, human? No! You're not telling me that the aliens from Dragon Ball exist. You're not telling me Saiyans are a thing. You're not telling me Frieza is real. You're not telling me the God of Destruction Beerus exists. I was going to say why. I'm going to ask how the series got species 28941 so accurate. <sighs> Which one is that? Uh, green can stretch their limbs long distances, subsist only on water, and produce asexually. Start the ship, we're going to Namek, I'm going to gather the Dragon Balls! Everything you listed does exist too. Wait, what was that? Nothing! On to adventure! Human, about this game you've been playing, the, the, the one with the ink? Oh, is Splatoon? What, did you want to play it? Well, I noticed some images, and I must ask. How did you kind of know about the Cambriosians? The, the, the what? Cambriosians. They're a species who thrive on a planet much like Earth. However, instead of evolving more mammalian, they adopt traits much like the creatures in your game. In fact, the lore behind them seems to line up with how they developed. Albeit without the consequences of a prior sapient race behind it. Among a few things. Oh, hold that thought. So Inklings and Octolings exist? In a way. In fact, your player avatar resembles what they may be considered the equivalent of a janitor on Earth. I thought the armor looked cool. Quick question, human. Zap. Those cartoons you showed me from those Disney guys. Are you going to tell me that Mickey Mouse is an alien species? Yes, but that's not the point. Anyway, what exactly is the difference between Goofy and Pluto? <sighs> oh boy. Human, what can you tell me about storm chasers? Oh, simple. Storm chasers are people who chase down dangerous storms like tornadoes and hurricanes, either for research purposes or for thrill-seeking. Why do you ask? Mainly because of this new movie that is coming out soon called Twisters. I heard it was a sequel to a movie called Twister that was released about 30 years ago. Oh uh, yeah, I almost forgot about that movie. Highly recommend watching the first film before watching that. Wanna watch it with me now? Sure thing. After the movie. Hard to believe that all it took for Bill and Joe to get back together was a near-death experience to several tornadoes over the course of two days. <laughs> and to think Joe was about to sign the divorce papers right as the monster hit the drive-in that they stopped at. Human, about this Star Wars franchise? Uh, let me guess, they're all real. No, actually. I was going to point out that a lot of the alien species designs are just not really all that realistic. Wait, what, what really? Yeah, it's actually a pretty unscientific portrayal of what extraterrestrial life looks like. Oh, wow. Oh, finally some normality. Except the Gungans, those guys are real. Why? Out of all the millions of Star Wars alien species, did the Gungans have to be real? I should probably tell them they don't sound like that, though. Should I? Nah, let them suffer. What are you doing? Watching To Your Eternity. What is the show about? How a tiny orb slowly becomes human and immortality is literally the worst thing that is given to people. Huh? Watch it, you'll understand soon. Hours later. <laughs> what is everyone dying the show? To make everyone stop wishing for immortality. And to make everyone catch the feels. I need to call Lady Lucretia. She must be devastated. Why do you watch the kids show? Is it like the flying men show with the punchy kicky men? Uh, no, no, this is not like Dragon Ball Blue, he's different. Why do they sound incomprehensible? Well, that's down under, otherwise known as Australian. Why did I choose you, human? Because I was the only candidate who didn't try and romance you. But you have. And I do it again. Human, I have a question. Shoot. I've noticed your planet has a distinct lack of currently existing large animals. Oh, right. Wait, the only place that still has an abundance of large animals is Africa. Hold on, didn't your species originate there? So, yeah, this might seem a bit shocking, but we kind of killed most of the megafauna outside Africa. I'm sorry, what? And we may have significantly caused our sixth largest mass extinction in our planet's history. You're kidding, right? We were hungry. I feel like I should report you to your local authority. Human, I've heard talk about these 
Tumblr sexy man, and I was wondering what that meant. There's been many polls about them throughout the years as well. <coughs> well, well, you see, people find certain fictional characters very attractive. But others are very confused by that, so every year or so, people, <laughs> people hold polls to find out which is the hottest. It's a mess all around. That sounds strange. Can you tell me a few choices featured in the polls? <laughs> sure. A few minutes later, rumor. My lord, why are they all attracted to a robot ball in a snazzy triangle? I was wondering the same thing. I, I, I don't understand. You have a, a person who causes deforestation. You have a, a talking cat. A man with a dice on his head. Well, this Waluigi one I can understand, but... Good God, is that just a skeleton? 